Kitsunebi, Will of the Wisp. The fox, or kitsune, as we say in Japanese, is perhaps the most well-loved animal in Japan, with the possible exception of one or two other species. A bowl of soba, buckwheat noodles, is called kitsune soba, just because it has a single piece of deep-fried tofu on top. The nagareya, or stray arrow that shoots off into the air without striking any object, is called a kitsuneya, literally a fox arrow. No doubt the fox finds these uses of its own name rather annoying. Among the other terms that use the word kitsune, no doubt to the fox disliking, is kitsunebi, literally fox fire, which refers to the visual phenomenon where mysterious lights appear at night. According to folklorists, the term comes from the rather implausible legend that foxes possess the ability to spew fire from their mouths. Moreover, in haiku, kitsunebi is a seasonal word, or kigo, for winter, suggesting that the legends about it were taken to be true. The roots of that mysterious fox fire, Kitsunebi, lie in an imagined resemblance to the intense fire that results from burning phosphorus. Long ago, it was customary for people to say that cemeteries would sometimes shine with the light of Ignis Fatus, the dead spirits in the forms of floating ghost lights, or hitodama as we say in Japanese, they glow in blue hues, which they apparently attributed to phosphorus burning inside the bones of buried corpses. Legend has it that foxes would gnaw on the bones for sus sustenance, and the phosphorus from the bones would begin to burn, and that led to the foxes spewing the fire from their own mouths. When the story has reached this point, it is no longer clear whether it was foxes playing tricks on humans, or humans deceiving the foxes. The humans could have very well been blaming foxes all this time for their own lives and nefarious activities. There are various other ways to express the kitsunebi phenomenon. One way is the phrase fox's lanterns, or kitsune no chōjin, which gets its name from the image of lanterns hanging in a sequential pattern. The series of lights has also been likened to a wedding procession. With that logic, you might think the phrase kitsune no yomeiri, literally fox's wedding, would be a line of fox fires or kitsunebi. However, this phrase kitsune no yomeiri refers to the ph phenomenon of hideri ame, or a sun shower, or a spot of passing rain on a sunny day, which is inconsistent with the fox fire's kitsunebi of those mystifying nighttime lights. On second thought, maybe the phrase suggests that the fox on a moonlit night causes it to rain? Could it be that foxes emit fire from their mouths in the rain and set off a wedding procession of light in place of lanterns? If that fanciful story is true, it's certainly a rather elaborate contrivance. I think that we humans love using foxes as material for coming up with the wild, fanciful stories we tell ourselves. Winter is when talk of kitsunebi comes up most often. The combination of the kitsunebi's rather spooky ethereal overtones and winter's brooding mood makes all those dubious stories even the more spine-chilling. Even the great haiku poet Yosabuso of the Edo period exploited those associations in verse, composing the following poem. Kitsunebi ya dokuro ni ame no kamaru yoru ni foxfire on a night when the skull gathers rain. You can just see how enchanting the fanciful kitsunebi phrase must have been for the people of old. Look at how many fantasies and images it inspired. Surely, I can't be the only one with the urge to scribble out a poem on that magical subject.